I mean, come on, they, this is something they could have figured out. They wouldn't have to develop anything new. To me, Dodgers got really lazy and complacent. And stop taking the easy way out with these graphic packages. Man, they're going out sad. I, I hate to say they went out sad. What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. We want you around for the long haul. We do a lot of car related stuff on this channel. We want you around for the long haul. So, uh, you know, make sure to just hit that subscribe button and uh, be a part of the family. And if you've already done so and already locked it in, uh, thank you. And I appreciate you guys doing that that have already subscribed to the channel. And um, we couldn't do it without you guys. And we want more of you guys to subscribe to the channel. So um, let's do that. Let's go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, but we're not going to hold you too long. Let's go ahead and get into the topic of today's video. You see the title and you see the thumbnail. So Dodge has released car number six out of the seven last call model cars. And as we had talked about before on the channel, it is the Black Ghost attribute to Garpy Qualls, make sure I say his name right, Godfrey Qualls in his 1970 Dodge Challenger RT Special Edition. Now, quick backstory on the Black Ghost. Uh, it was, had a 426 in it. It was his car that uh, completely dominated street racing up in Detroit. It would come out, come out at night, win some races, and disappear. People won't see it for months. And that's why I got called the Black Ghost because of the black paint. And it kind of disappeared like a ghost. So awesome backstory and things of that nature. Um, but Dodge has decided to do a tribute to him with the um, Black Ghost Challenger that they came out with. Now, there also uh, another thing about that Challenger. It, it is uh, has some. It is like an official historic car. So it's not just some random car. So it has an awesome story to it. So if you don't know the full story, make sure um, look that up as well. But um, we kind of knew it was coming with the Black Ghost Challenger. We talked about it in some previous videos, as we said before. But um, let's talk about this car, man. I like the car. I love what they, I love the tribute. But there are some things I think Dodge fell short on. And let's talk about this car a little bit more. Horsepower wise with this car, 807 jailbreak horsepower. Saw that coming, right? I'm kind of disappointed that it did not bump the power up anymore, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. So a couple of, you know, visual things that they did with this car. Um, they got the black gator skin roof vinyl, which the car that uh, the Black Ghost had a full vinyl gator top and whatnot. Uh, the bright Dodge fascia badge, which we're gonna talk about that design choice. Uh, the white uh, rear fender graphics, which is gonna be that white tail stripe that's gonna be on the car. Um, the Challenger script on the grill, fenders, spoiler badges, things like that. So they're using the old school Challenger script on the car versus like the SRT stuff on it. Um, got the mint, well, a lot about the SRT. They do, they are gonna have the SRT grill badge on it. Uh, the bright fuel door, so it's not gonna be completely blacked out. Uh, black six piston Brembo brakes uh because bright red wasn't the thing that they really had on the brakes back then uh the 309 gear ratio which typically with the hellcats the red eyes and things of that nature they usually come with the 290 or 260 something like that um if i'm not mistaken boy having the 309 good also have the 20 by 11 wheels which is the bright silver color wheels for the car black mopar hood pin the black ghost inter interior instrument panel badge which is going to be the little badge on the inside of the car you know they got to do that alcatara laguna leather seats alcatara steering wheel real carbon fiber bezels and dy uh, dynamic I'm just gonna assume that's dynamic. Suede headliner, or maybe dynamic. I don't know. Suede headliner, if that's what's in the car. So that's kind of the special callouts on the car and whatnot. And I want to talk about quickly some of the design choices on this. So looking at this car as a whole, um, it's pretty much a black red eye challenger jailbreak with the gray with the silver wheels. That's pretty much the main thing. They did one thing different. They put the Dodge lettering on the front fascia, which I'm gonna put a picture over here, which for this particular car, I understand they're trying to make it look like the old car, but I don't 
think that really fits the car to me that's it doesn't fit the car at all um back in the 70s that look that worked but putting it on the newer car does not look look well at all to me it's just like it's randomly placed there so please honestly if you have a newer model challenger do not do that do not do that to your car at all other than that uh the the vinyl top the, the gator top so i was thinking they were gonna do the whole top half of the car like that with that kind of vinyl with that gator vinyl but they only did the roof they didn't do like the whole c pillar and all that type of stuff i wish they would have did the c pillar um and just did the whole roof like that with that vinyl on there but they didn't do that so they said no we're not gonna do all that now one big thing that I, i'm kind of disappointed they didn't do and i'm gonna and i'm gonna put a picture of it here so another uh missed opportunity as far as just with the looks of the car that i'm kind of disappointed in is on the side they had the rt and right below the rt they had the pan african uh, the pan african flag on there they didn't do that. Instead, they put the Challenger graphic on the side and didn't put the Pan-African flag on there. Um, I mean, if they're going to, they didn't have to put the RT. I understand why they did not put the RT on the side because this is not an RT. I think they maybe could have put the SRT on the side of the car and then put the Pan-African flag on there. So I hope that whoever does buy this car, the, the 300 people that do buy this car, I hope somebody out there does it, will, will do it. Um, I'm pretty sure someone's going to do it, but please put the pan african flag on the car that i feel like that, that's part of the car that makes the car what it is if you ask me um that was that was a miss in my um in my eye but another another thing i want to point out here with the car that dodge definitely missed on it and this has kind of been the theme of a lot of their latest releases i'm gonna kind of go on a little bit of rant here but y'all gonna understand they, they really missed the mark on doing something different with this car that they haven't done before now i completely understand that Dodge wasn't going to develop a new engine or things like that. I, I completely understand and get that. What I don't understand from Dodge is if they're not going to develop something new for this car, why not put together a combination that you can't just go out and just put vinyl stickers on to replicate the look of this car? For example, when we talked about the King Daytona, uh, that car is a tribute to a drag racing legend, right? They could have easily turned the King Daytona into a charger demon something that people have been asking for for a while this that would not cause dodge to have to research anything wouldn't have to, to redevelop anything it's something they can already do with what they have right with this particular car there is still something they could have done to give, give a tribute to a drag racer a drag racing legend and what they could have done here is they could have gave this car maybe they don't necessarily they didn't necessarily have to give it demon power maybe i mean they didn't have to go that far because we are there's already a challenger out there that has demon power to challenger demon but what they could have done in this situation let's take the same car let's give it the drag radials from the demon and the super stock and instead of it coming with an eight speed automatic make it a six speed manual the car in the 70s came with a four speed manual make this one a six speed manual and this would have been a combination that they have never offered before. Because if you've been following Dodge, all the stuff they've been doing with the car, like uh, when it comes to their, their red-eyed up models, none of those cars come with manuals, right? They could have easily had this car come with a manual. I understand why the Charger didn't come with a manual. Um, it is something with the transmission tunnel or whatever. If they change that, they'll have to recertify the car for crash testing and stuff like that. So I understand. I understand not putting a manual in the Charger, but your Challenger, that chassis is already built to have a manual in it. Why did they not put a manual in the Challenger for this particular model? It would have been their most powerful manual. And, I'm, and, it, and if I'm not mistaken here, I think with Roadkill Knights, they gave all their contestants that participated in the drag races, they gave them all a red eye engine and told them they had to make it a manual. I mean, come on, they, this is something they could have figured out. They wouldn't have to develop anything new. I, I'm pretty sure the transmissions that they have for the Hellcats would have worked just fine with the 807 Red Eye version of the engine. I, I'm pretty sure that would work. Um, but to me, Dodge has got really lazy and complacent. I, I might be running into another video here, but uh, they, they just got real lazy and complacent. Like they, these last car models, I understand they're just kind of going, like I understand they're just trying to make collect the items and things like that. But at the same time, I think it was also opportunity for them to make something that they haven't made before. The only car that they made something that wasn't made before was the Super B where they made a 1320 Charger, something that people have been asking about. But all the other models that they came out 
all the other last call models have been lackluster for the most part. And I hate to say that, man, me and being a Dallas guy and stuff, like I'm not sure what the end goal was with some of this stuff. Like I understand to do the tributes. I'm cool with the tributes that they did, but at least make something that you never made before. Make it even more special. It would have been crazy special to have an 800 and seven horsepower challenger that comes in a six speed manual because Dodge has never produced that before. The highest horsepower they have with the manual, highest horsepower engine they have with the manual is the is the Hellcat with 717. They could have did this with this car. Gave it the drag radius. Now you got a drag racing focused car with the six speed manual, something they never done before. Like, come on, let's give give the people what they want and stop and stop taking the easy way out with these graphic packages, man. This graphic package, honestly, if you got a black challenger, you can easily get this done on your car. Go somewhere, get the vinyl for your roof, get the white tail stripe. If you want to add the Dodge on the bumper of the car, have at it. I, I don't like that at all. Um, put your hood pins on, you got the same thing, you know. But they really, they just dropped the ball if you ask me, man. I'm kind of disappointed, um, especially with the Black Ghost, how legendary that car is. And they did not make a legendary car. <laughs> They're going out sad. I hate to say they went out sad. So I'm going to wrap up this video, man. Our main thing I want to say, my main message is that I love the tribute. The Black Ghost deserves a great tribute car. And that and the legend of that car is, is is outstanding, right? The story behind that car is outstanding and the owner is outstanding. The family is outstanding and things like that. But I feel like Dodge just got lazy with what they're doing and came out lackluster with this particular reveal, man. I mean, um, the car's going to look good, um, but it's always going gonna, gonna to be some easy stuff that I feel like they could have capitalized on just to make this car even, to set it apart from all the other cars besides just some stickers and stuff like that right but let me know your thoughts on it um drop some comments below i'm interested to hear what you have to say with this particular reveal as always thank you for tuning in we will catch you on the next video we are out cut it